Hey guys, my name is Sammy. I'm a classical Pilates teacher and it's PCS season for the military. So we are in the midst of moving overseas. This is my husband, Scott, and he is in the Marine Corps. And, <laughs> right, and believe it or not, I don't teach him Pilates very much. The Marine Corps keeps him very busy. However, the military often has very injured military on all branches. I don't know what word I'm trying to say there, but um, a lot of herniated discs, a lot of, you know, working out incorrectly over time. And of course the wear and tear on the body of just being in the military and training for combat and being in com combat, um, can really put a strain on everything. So Scott has some herniated discs and we're going to show you just like a 10 minute workout that would be really beneficial for, well, anybody in the military. Um, but also if you have any herniated discs and you need to start kind of slow, this is going to be a very beginner friendly workout. So because I don't have all my classical props, you, you know, Joe Pilates himself was very, very good at making do with what he had. So I usually use some rolls to put under the back, but I'm going to use his <laughs> Marine sweatshirt and I'm going to fold it up. And however you, this can be a towel, this can be a sweater. I'm folding it up so it will give some feedback um, and some space in the lower back. A lot of times, go ahead and lie down, babe. A lot of times when people have a herniated disc, they actually are tucking and compressing their pelvis to try and support their back or to try and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyways. They end up putting more strain on the discs because the, the pelvic position that keeps them from feeling anything in their back is actually one that isn't so great. So this is gonna help that. So he's gonna gently lift his hips and this is gonna go right in that lower back area. He's gonna position it to where he needs. Is, did I get it right the first time? So if you put something under the lower back, it's gonna give you tactile feedback. It's gonna help, help keep the pelvis down. All right, so go ahead and walk your legs a little bit farther away from you. And they're gonna be two fists distance apart, so close on in. And he's gonna start with pelvic tucks. So he's going to imprint his back and squish the towel or whatever you have under your lower back. And then he's gonna go the opposite way as much as he can without it really hurting his back. You have to kind of move carefully, especially if you have herniated discs. And if you notice, he can tuck a lot but the butt is coming up. So I want you to tuck and keep the butt down a little bit more. So try not to lift too much. And then the other way. Good. And just do one more. This is a great exercise to really open up things that need to be opened up. So now he's going to keep that neutral pelvis and he's going to lift his arms straight up overhead. He's going to inhale here and he's going to exhale to go back and really exhale. That breath is important because he's going to keep pulling those ribs down and then he's going to inhale back up and he's going to exhale, press down to the mat and open the chest. This is a chest expansion. Lift your chest up, lift your chest up, lift your chest up. Inhale, lift, exhale, go back and gently pull the ribs down. You're trying not to move the pelvis. Inhale, lift up, exhale, press down and lift the chest like a very proud chest. And again, inhale up, exhale, go back, use your breath because that exhale is going to naturally pull things down. Inhale up and exhale, press. Good. So now he's going to tighten up those legs a lot. So you're going to think about pulling your heels to your butt and your butt to your heels without actually moving anything. Yep. And now the chest is going to press out. Excellent. So now he's going to bring his right knee to tabletop. And this is going to come in a little bit more. Yep. And then he's going to put it back down. And the goal is not to wiggle your pelvis from side to side. So you're going to lift that knee up, stay very even on both butt cheeks and come back down. And again, pelvic stability is super important for the military because one, this, while these seem like nothing exercises, it's going to make your scores better on your PFT. It's also going to help when you have to carry somebody that's all within, that's all, the pelvic is part of your core. So you have to have pelvis stability in order to really do the best that you can and be the healthiest that you can be. Now you're going to go to the other side. So when he's lifting that leg, there's a little bit of a tuck under in the pelvis that's happening. 
it's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Over time, you're going to work on keeping that pelvis still. For right now, inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. And again, inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Good. Really exhale on the way down. You don't want that foot to plop. You really want to just set it down. Good. One more. Good. Now he's going to bring his right knee to tabletop. And he's going to switch in the air. Inhale, switch. Exhale, hold. Inhale, switch. Exhale, hold. And it's a very gentle, keep moving. The foot goes down in a very gentle way. Really opening up that chest. It's really, really important for men to keep staying nice and wide in that chest. Good. Try to pull your stomach into that towel, not towel, your sweater, uh, just a little bit more as you move. Is your back feeling okay? Yep. Are you feeling your abs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now both feet go down. Eventually you do want to be able to hover both feet off of the mat a couple inches but with a herniated disc, this could be quite the challenge. So if that towel is not enough, you'd make a diamond shape with your hands and put it under your sacrum, which is where I want you to go next, to give a little bit more support. If you don't have a towel, you could have done everything like this. It would have made the pelvic tucks a little um, off though. So now tighten, pull the button heels together. Try not to slide your chest when you do that. So you're gonna pull the boobies up and now you're gonna Hover the feet. Inhale, pull that stomach in a little lower. Right there. Exhale, back down. Does that bother your back at all? So again, you're barely lifting up a little lower and back down. And you don't want to lose, keep going, you don't want to lose the pull of the button heels together. So that's really going to activate the backs of the legs. He's just going to do one more. And he's going to take his hand out. So I'm going to put this sweater back down and you can make sure it's placed. You want it under your lower back, right where it should normally concave. Yep, so going into the 100, he's gonna bend his knees into his chest first. The safest way is to start proximal to distal, yes, he's, exactly. Then the head comes up, and then the legs are gonna go up, and the arms are gonna be by the side. Now notice where his tailbone is. So I'm gonna have him bend his knees a little bit and come a little bit out right there. Now he's gonna pump. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You can reach your fingers here. He's inhaling for five pumps and exhaling. So let's make those pumps a little bit bigger. And exhale and really try to touch the chin to the chest. If this is ever too much, then you just lower your head or bend your knees into your chest more and keep going. So your goal is to do 10 breaths. You're inhaling, big inhale, five pumps. You're exhaling, five pumps until you get to 10. This is something that you should do every day. It's really going to build your abdominals. It's gonna build your neck strength to pull you back in alignment. It's gonna work hip stability. It's gonna get your blood flowing. It's the best warm up. knees into your chest, hug them, head goes down then. And you can rock a little bit from side to side with your knees into your chest if it feels good. So even before you like are going to start your gym workout or you're going to start, what is it called when you just exercise with everybody? PT. When you PT, <laughs> the worst military spouse, when you PT, if everybody could start with a strong hundred to get the body working properly, then you're already warming up body parts that you're going to need to use. So it's the same thing as like activating a body part before you have to use it. So before you run, you want to activate your glutes with some bridges of some kind and really feel them. And then they'll work for you when you're running. Otherwise, they could not work for you. They can be uh, lazy and dormant. All right, so he's going to come up for his half roll down. And if you have a herniated disc and you can't roll up like he did, then you will roll to your side and get up. So feet are planted, two fists distance apart, hands go behind the legs. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale. Then he's gonna bring his chin to the chest, exhale, and he's gonna hinge backwards. Lift your chest to go backward, don't round. Don't think about rounding, lift up to go back, and then come back up. And again, so we don't wanna put any pressure back there. We're trying to get him to uncurl his pelvis and come back up. 
and again. So you can exhale to go back and inhale to come up and then you can change the breath. Now he's going to inhale to go back and exhale to go up. And he's going to keep trying to pull his feet, his heels and butt together. Back and up. And he automatically, go ahead and lie down, he automatically started rolling from here versus slouching from the arms because he was thinking straight back. It's not going to end up being straight, but you want to think certain things so you don't slouch and collapse. All right, so one leg circles. He's going to walk his feet out a little bit. And he's going to lift his right knee into his chest and then straight up. Now, I already see I'm going to put this back under him, bend the knee, because while he, um, I'm going to roll, I'm going to roll it a little tighter. While he um, still kind of tucks a little bit, even with that under him, it was a lot more. That butt curled right up. So now he's going to pull his stomach gently into the sweater, towel, whatever you have. And walk your feet out a little more. So, yep. And then he's going to lift, bend the right knee in and lift it up. So now he's down a lot better. You want that neutral spine. Now he's going to point the right foot and he's going to cross and he's going to pull into that sweater to come up. Exhale, cross. Inhale, pull through the stomach to come back up. And exhale. Now inhale to come back up. Exhale, pull through the stomach. This is a stomach exercise. This is working your hip mobility. This is working pelvic stabilization. It's working your lower abdominals and it is going to work your lower back as well. Now he's going to do five in the other direction. Exhale, pull, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, and up. And he's starting to tuck a little bit. That could be because he's trying to protect his lower back. His abs are getting tired. Breathe. And one more. And then he's going to bend this knee in and he's going to put that foot down. Now he's going to go to the other side, walk this foot out just a little bit more. And he's trying to release your pelvis just a little bit and now pull into the, your, uh, I keep wanting to say towel, exhale, inhale. So really use that breath, exhale, because everything pulls down so your stomach works, inhale up. And I'm going to keep this side a little lower so that his butt can stick out a little bit more. Exhale, now pull the stomach in and you're going to pause there. So you don't have to go all the way up to the ceiling if you don't have that mobility. Go the other way for five. Exhale down, inhale up. What's most important is that your pelvis is in a neutral position. We are trying to build the abdominals long and not like this. This Nobody wants to walk around like this. Go ahead and come on down. Nice job. So he's going to bend his knees into his chest, setting up for one leg stretch. And he's going to take both hands to the right knee, lift the head, and this leg's going to go straight up. The lower it goes, the more challenging it is here. And then he's going to switch his legs and hold. And inhale, switch. I love how he just put his elbows out. So I've taught him a little bit. Inhale, switch, exhale, hold. Inhale, switch, exhale, hold. Now lower your upper body down a little bit more and pull the knee in. Get a big hip stretch. Let's bring this leg up a little higher. Yep. Inhale, switch, exhale, hold. Think about pulling into, trying to flatten out that sweatshirt a little bit and keeping your butt down on the other side of it. Ah, good. Now he's going to bend both knees and take a little breather. Rest your head. How's your back? Good. When in doubt, leave it out. Take it really slow, especially if you have herniated discs. He's going to plant his feet now. And I you know if you're joining us, you're going to do it too. But he's going to try this with one foot down for a little bit more pelvic stability. So now he's going to walk his feet out just a bit more because the other way, the closer he, the more proximal he is here, the more he's going to tuck under. So he's going to curl his head up and he's going to bend that right knee in. Nothing's going to change. Grab the knee, pull the knee to your chest and try to stick your butt out at the same time. Now he's going to lower that leg down, keep the pelvis still, and lift the other one. And you really inhale, so just put the foot down and then lift the other one up and feel no wobbles. No wobbles. And you should have even pressure on both sits bones. At the same time, look at your belly button. Good. Try to pull your stomach to the towel or whatever you have under your back, sweatshirt, and rest.
Excellent. All right, so now he's going to carefully come on up, and so are you. <laughs> and he's going to go ahead and lie onto his stomach. So a lot of times people that have a herniated disc don't want to do any extension whatsoever. So he's going to make a pillow with his hands, and he's going to rest his forehead. And now I'm going to have him lift a little bit, and I'm going to put this under his like pelvis. Now he's going to pull the belly button in. We're going to have to find a better spot. This has to go lower. This is going to have to go more under that pubic bone a little bit. Yep. All right, there we go. So now he feels a little safer because this isn't sinking. And he's just going to lift the right leg, but nothing changes in the body. So the stomach has to pull up a little bit more. You're going to keep squishing the, the sweatshirt, and you're only going to lift a hair and back down. And the goal is to really feel both hips down, and then he lifts and lowers. So also very important is to correct incorrect postures and always tucking under to protect the back. Can often cause some weakness back here. So we really need to try to use the stomach, open that hip, and work the back of the leg. And this is a safe way to do it. He is crunching a little bit here, and that's okay. He's going to maybe lift a little less. Uh-huh, and let's go other side. So five to 10 on each side, just these lifts and back down. Lift and back down. Now, as you lift, you're gonna pull the belly button in more. Yes, so this side's a little stronger for him. Keep pressing your into the <laughs> sweatshirt. Uh-huh, lift. And this is where he's trying to lift from versus bending the knee. So think about length. Good, and then he's gonna lower down. Now he's going to keep his hands down, try to squish your um, towel or whatever is under you, and then inhale, lift the head and heart. Keep the hands down, keep the hands down. Lift your head and heart, look up. So now, he kind of rounded, so he's going to now open this and push your chest forward. Let this rib sink a little bit more. Yes, and go back down, exhale. So think about scraping your nose forward. Now lift your chest to follow. Chest, 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 and come back. And again, inhale, lift, let this go down. Yes, and now squish your towel. And exhale, come back. Now he's gonna leave his hands on his head and they're gonna lift as well, but he's gonna focus on his stomach first and the whole time, whether he gets up or not. Inhale, lift, beautiful, exhale down, exactly. So he's pulling the stomach up, he's squishing his towel, exhale back down, and again, inhale, and exhale one more time. Wonderful. Now he's going to bring his arms out to the side and keep his forehead down. Fingers go straight. And he's just going to bring his shoulder blades together. So he's going to lift his arms straight up to the ceiling and then all the way back down. And again, straight up. And you don't need this high up mat. You can just be on the floor and your arms will be on the floor. Lift and back down. And again, lift, now hold that, now scrape your nose forward and up, pull the stomach in and lift the chest and go back down, scrape the nose, lower the arms. You lift the arms, you scrape the nose, the stomach is working, you lift the chest and you come back. Excellent, Here, so you can sit into a child's pose and decompress your spine. Very nice. All right, so turn around, lie onto your back for shoulder bridge. Hands by your sides. And I'm gonna leave this out because he's gonna be rolling up and I'm just pretend it's there. And then we're gonna really try to open the shoulders. Now he's going to just lift his hips. Because he's already want, is going to tuck on his own, I don't need to tell him to tuck the pelvis and roll up. And then he's going to stick his butt out as much as he is, will feel okay for him to lower back down. 
So he's not even gonna articulate his spine. We're gonna try and keep him in that neutral spine as much as possible. And he goes back up. Good, now lift your chest more and more and more. You okay here? And then he's gonna try and keep that chest up like there's a block under it now and he can't go. And then he's gonna stick his butt out a little bit and he's gonna go down. And then again, he's gonna go back up. Lift the chest, good. And now keep that chest up and he's gonna lower it back down. And again, lift and back down. One more time. And take it back down. And eventually we'll go into one leg and all of that. So he's going to do side kicks and then He's gonna be done, he's ready to be done. All right, go ahead and lie onto your side. You're on the back side of your mat and your legs go to the front edge. Bring your hand behind your head and scoot your elbow all the way back. You're gonna bring your legs to the front edge. Yep, into a banana shape. So if you're on the back side of your mat, your toes can be off of the mat. Now look straight in front of you and here we really want this hip to draw down and the stomach to pull in enough to feel it into the back but then up a little bit so that you keep the length now he's going to lift his top leg yep and he's going to swing forward inhale and exhale back and again inhale swing forward exhale swing back and he's going to keep trying to lengthen this hip Inhale, swing forward. Exhale, opening that hip and pulling the stomach in a little deeper. Yes. Inhale, swing forward. Exhale, back. He's going to do one more. Inhale, swing. Exhale, back. Pull the stomach in a little deeper here. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Yes. And he's going to lower it down and go to the other side. You can sit up and transfer. Careful, please don't fall off the, <laughs> the, the high up equipment. All right, so on the back side of the mat, elbow, shoulder, hip in line, your legs come forward, just the toes are off. And then he's gonna look straight in front of him and he's gonna lift the leg up. Now this is going to reach nice and long and then he's gonna inhale forward, try to turn up out a little bit to go forward here and then exhale, pull the stomach in, pull the stomach in and rotate your knee down. So this side, this right side is, what side do you hernia to disc on? This side's the worst. So this side is his, it's all out of whack side. So he's gonna go forward and he has to turn his knee up. And that's just to keep the hip still. Now he's gotta rotate it down, rotate this leg down more, 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 right there. Now the hip is still on top of his other hip. So now he's gonna go forward, he's gonna slowly rotate up, and then he's gonna come back. And he, he might need to bend this bottom leg a little bit. Here, you can let this come down a little bit. So he's gonna swing it forward, rotate the knee up, and then he's going to go backwards and rotate down. So this, this way, this way, little, low. yep. And again, forward, inhale. We might spend a little more time on this side. Exhale, rotate down and pull the stomach in, in, in. Yes. And again, inhale, forward. Exhale, reach long, rotate, pull the stomach in. Good. And last time. And exhale. Rotate down more, 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 right there. And lower it all the way down. Nice job. Go ahead and sit yourself up. So we hit some abs, we did some basics because we need hip stability. And even if you're somebody that works out in the gym all the time, you could probably still work on your pelvic stability. These are those deeper, deeper, deeper abdominal muscles that you actually need to do your PFTs without getting injured, to do your, what did you do today? P oh, PT. PFT. Yeah, PFT without getting injured and get a better score and live a healthier life within your body while you're in the military. Um, start doing this every day and see what happens. Give me 30 days. Maybe I'll get Scott to do some more videos. Probably. Yeah. All right, thanks, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day. Bye.